Hey, what's up, guys? D here, and welcome to today's video. I am excited. Ringside Collectibles just posted so many new awesome products that they are coming out with. I can't even talk. <laughs> I was speechless when I found out. I've seen all these pictures, and it's... Mattel, take my money. Just, just take it. Take it. Just take it. <laughs> Oh, let's get started with it. I'm going to leave pictures everywhere. Uh, so, let's get it started. They showed the Elites 49 and Elites 50 lineups. For Elites 49. <sighs> awesome set. They got Enzo and Cass. Apollo Crews. Becky Lynch. Randy Orton. And Brutus. The Barber Beefcake. This is fantastic. Uh, Apollo Crews looks, looks great. I like it. No problems whatsoever. Don't shit on the uh, material of the shirt that he comes with. I understand why they don't add real shirt materials. But, you know, it is what it is. You know, if you're a loose collector and if you play with them, why would you get a shit on it? You know? But, either way, just be happy we got Apollo Crews Elite coming. Awesome. Becky Lynch looks fantastic. I like it. Looking forward for it. The Big Cass. Awesome. I wonder how tall it actually is going to be. I'm excited to get that. The Enzo looks so fantastic. It comes with so many accessories. It's uh, They just... Got it on point. The head skin's on point. The body, everything that he comes with is on point. I like it a lot. <laughs> uh, let's see. We got Bruce the Barber Beefcake. You guys know I'm a huge, huge fan of the flashback elites, all the legends. And it's great that we're getting Bruce the Barber Beefcake. So looking forward to that. Yeah, that's Elite 49. <laughs> Next is Elite 50. Now, this set blew my mind. We have the Warlord, which I'm surprised that they actually remember him. We got Stephanie McMahon from WrestleMania 32. We got Rhino. A lot of people are shitting on it, but, you know, it is what it is. Just be grateful we're getting a Rhino. Understand his arms are too big. Remember, some of these things are still prototypes. So, of course, they could fix it later, like the Shinsuke Nakamura they fixed, and it was great. Uh, a Baron Corbin. Baron Corbin looks freaking fantastic. Looking forward for that. We are getting Shane McMahon. This elite I am looking forward to the most. I'm excited for it. It comes with the Shane O'Mac. Uh, just take my money, man. Shane O'Malley, that is going to be definitely the 2017 top 10 elites. <laughs> Guaranteed. Uh, gosh, what else is in the set? Uh, <laughs> I can't. Oh, yeah, John Cena. <laughs> they added John Cena, which I don't have his picture because I'm not going to get it. You know, I'm not. You guys already know me. I'm not interested in John Cena figures at all. But they got Shane McMahon. It looks so amazing. Like I'll show you guys the pictures all around in the in this video. Some here or some there with the sets. And they just look awesome. Now there's a figure that they showed us which is not on pre order just yet, but they showed us the prototype figure. And I believe it is in the next Elite line of Elite 51. I'm going to show it to you guys. Goldberg! <laughs> this Goldberg looks so amazing. I hope they don't change it at all. This Goldberg looks on point. It is on point. The head skin is fantastic. The body skin, fantastic. Don't change it. Leave it the way it is. I'm excited for it. So I'm pretty sure that'll be Elite 51. 
which we won't expect probably till maybe summertime. Who knows? I can't be wrong, but I am really excited. It makes my custom Goldberg look like shit. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> now, with all those being set aside and just have to wait because I will be broke as it is. Because I got WrestleMania to save up for. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys the new defining moments that is coming out. And here we go. It is. Woo! I'm just going to throw the Macho Man like right in your face. <laughs> I said it. <laughs> macho Man. <laughs> defining moment. Macho Man. Now this Macho Man, I believe it is the attire from when he was the Intercontinental Champion. And it comes with a real cloth robe. It looks fantastic. I believe this is actually one of the best Macho Mans they ever, ever made. Looking forward for it. Can't go wrong with Macho Mans. <laughs> and that's not it. There's one more thing I wanted to talk about that I just recently saw. And it is an NXT basic lineups. Um, no, I'm not really crazy about basics, but there was one figure that caught my eye. You got, I'll leave a picture somewhere, like I said. And it is the basic Ty Dillinger. That's it. That's it. I'm done. Now I'm done. Mattel, thank you. Ringside, thank you. <laughs> Let me stop. Ty Dillinger basic. It's in the picture. There's a, uh, what's his name? That Mexican CNDN also. Okay, okay, can't go wrong. There's uh, Samoa Joe. There's Eva Marie. I don't know why. And there's a uh, Kevin Owens. I think they're in like a new box form, which looks pretty cool. And it looks like they come with one of those waving guys that Bailey comes out to. Wonder what's up with that. I'm pretty sure we'll find out more information later on. And there, if you guys seen, there is a Seth Rollins. Uh, it looks like a basic, I'm pretty sure it is. And his own type of Seth Rollins box, which looks freaking awesome. But the problem is, it's a basic, and it looks like his SummerSlam attire. Which we have his Elite. And I think it comes with the NXT title. So, we'll see. Uh, they all look dope. I am excited. Can't wait. All these toys, all these figure reviews, they're going to be amazing. The future of Mattel is looking bright. And I am excited for all these figures. <laughs> well, alright guys, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Let me know down in the comments below of what figure you are looking forward to. What figure is, should Mattel make next? <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm like mumbling with talking. I'm just excited for these figures, man. And I will see you guys tomorrow for Raw. Woo woo woo!